In this video, I'm going to show you a very simple little defense out of the dollar um, that is going to help you defend bunch, and it's going to also help explain a way to make dollar better uh, post-patch. And so we're going to dive into the video. If you guys are new or you haven't gotten my Patreon yet, I would really encourage you to consider doing that. You can get my full dollar three two six defensive ebook by joining the Patreon today for just ten dollars. Uh, you'll also get access to all of our Madden 23 offensive and defensive ebooks, as well as all the updates um, to those ebooks and any new ebooks that we release. So, if you want to sign up for the Patreon, the link to do so is in the description down below. All right, so dollar three two six. What we want to do here is we're going to put our auto alignment to base. We're going to put uh, our zone coverage set to match, and we're going to be coming out in spinner every time. Now, what this is going to do is you're going to notice something about um, base align versus an unbase aligned look. So if I'm unbase aligned, I want you to watch the defensive line. You're going to see that the defensive end on the right side is going to move inside just like that. So by base aligning, we're going to be able to prevent that uh, from happening. Now, the only thing that we want to simply do here is we're going to press... And what I actually like to do at a dollar right now is back off uh, this dude on the right side. You don't have to do that. You can. Um, but it does help uh, with this with a couple things from Bunch. Most notably, it is going to help with this snap throw that a lot of people are doing right now, as you can see. Okay. So that is, you know, kind of the formula. Um, you can also just simply, you know, press and then back off both sides. The, um, the problem is we want to take advantage of this adjustment that I'm about to show you. So the main thing is you want to base align, you want to press. Now, really important, one of the main reasons why dollar is not working as well is because of this guy right here in his blitz angle. So if I man this guy up on the tight end and I put this guy in, you know, a mid-read or whatever... I want you to just watch what happens. You're going to see we're going to get one guy free off the left. We're not going to get that double edge pressure that makes dollars so powerful. And so it becomes a lot easier um, for your opponent to basically pick up the blitz just by blocking their running back. Um, as you can see, I block my running back. I'm able to pick up the pressure, you know, and it is what it is. So how do we make this better? The way you make this better is a couple different variations but what I like to do is just simply um, crash my line um, down or crash my line to the the right away from the running back okay now we can set up our coverage what I like to do on the left side is um, you know basically this okay and then what you should see here is we're going to have a little bit better success at getting the pressure. Now the other thing about this that, um, or uh, the other thing about this that I want to, want you to see real quick is that if you were to simply move uh, this guy on a contain, I'll show you something. So you see here, this is kind of what it looks like. So we're going to contain, and then we're going to recrash our line down. You'll see that this contain will cause a disengage a gap right through the middle. So that's something else that you have, um, you know, kind of in your arsenal defensively. Now the other thing that you can do that I actually think is really underrated, um, if you want to leave circle, leave this guy pressed up, for example, to give a press look. You can take the set the slot and man him up on the slot receiver, and then you can man up that guy on the circle, and you can actually blitz the outside corner in the bunch. Um, and what you'll notice here is because he's going to blitz from a little bit more depth, and again we want to spread our line, you're going to notice there's a good chance that he'll come off the edge. Okay. Now, if you ever want to guarantee your pressure, let's say they're blocking their running back a lot, all you need to do is just leave your your um, your backer blitzing. So what you want to do, what I like to do anyway, is I like this is where I want to do something like this on the left, and then if I see that running back block, I know that I got to get out here 
and go defend the tight end. And you see how much cleaner the pressure is against a blocked running back. So this is kind of a, a simple way to get this blitz to be a little bit more effective post patch. Um, there's a lot of, you know, there's a lot of, another little piece is if you want to leave it base aligned, you can move that safety in like that. Then they won't like give a clear cut tell that you're changing up who's manned up on who. And then what you'll see here is because your guy's out wider, now you're going to get that clean rush off of both edges. Even only sitting five. So, you know, just simply press. And then from there, what I would recommend is moving this guy down. And then uh, you can man the backer up. Or you can put the backer in a hard flat if you want to. Uh, to stop any quick throws. Another thing that I actually really like to do is put the corner in a hard flat and then man that guy up on circle. Um, I actually think that's a super underrated adjustment. Just make sure you crash your line down. That's the biggest thing here. And then, um, you know, you could do something like this. And then what you'll see, you know, even if you do something like this and user the running back. But anyways, um, you're going to see here that even if I block a running back, a lot of times it'll come off that right side. That time he got, that time he kind of like spazzed out, but a lot of times it will come off of that side. I'll show it one more time uh, out of a baseline look. Now that, again, the beauty of a baseline look is you literally just crash your line down and then you can make any adjustments that you want. Uh, please understand that if you move these guys, they won't give a visual tell. So you can just move them like slightly and then make whatever adjustments you want do something like this to stop a snap throw the running back and then you're going to go user the tight end and what you'll see is the pressure will scream off of probably both sides um the guy on the right's just being honestly a little weird he normally will come in completely free and we'll show you one more see how he's kind of, he's kind of getting caught up by the tight end flat i don't know why um but yeah this this is still the best defense in the game from a um, the ability from the ability to get sending five and getting pressure uh, pretty much no matter what they do. That's what makes this so good. So you see here, um, able to come in and boom. And then if you want to guarantee your pressure against pretty much any blocking scheme, what I would do is unbase line because you don't necessarily need that wide blitz angle anymore. And then just uh, spread your line, crash your line out. This guy's going to be coming from the A gap. You can do something like this. And then you're going to be sprinting to the tight end. You're sprinting to the tight end. Okay? So that is how Dollar can be a really good bunch defense. Because this adjustment, having split safeties is so valuable against bunch. Because you can do that adjustment right there, which is going to help significantly defend the quick throw wheels. You know, and then you have the ability to basically guarantee your pressure, even if they block um, a running back. So, anyways, that's the dollar. Um, I got another video we're going to be doing tomorrow. We're going to teach you the best blitz or the best way to blitz out of a formation like this um, in tomorrow's video. So, anyways, if you want to get the dollar ebook, you want to get the ebook about the formation we talk about tomorrow, make sure you're in the Patreon. Um, it's just $10 to become a member. And like I said, it gets you access to everything. You get everything by being a member, uh, all the ebooks, all the updates to the ebooks, and any new ebooks we release. So if you want to sign up, head down to the description below and click the link down below.